great job with the boys and girls. I want us all to give her a hand. And Miss C, who's sitting up right now, she is the one who come up with all this play and has worked with these kids during the day. And I am so, so proud of Miss Cheney in the middle. She's our helper, and we just work really hard in our classroom, and we're excited that everybody's here. And we're going to get started. And then after you finish, everybody's invited back to our classroom for a cast party. The kids have learned. We went on the play to see Charlotte's Web, and we talked about how to be an audience. And so now, I tell the boys and girls, now we get to learn how to be the people in the play, the characters. And we talked about after a play, how we get to have a cast party, that plays have a cast party, and everybody gets to go and do things. So we're going to go do that after so you can just walk out and go into the classroom and this is Miss C who we cannot make it without Miss C. She is the best music teacher in the whole state of Alabama, I'm just telling you. And we love her to death. So we're going to get started with Frog and Toad. But soon April came and when April comes, what happens? It's time to wake up! Frog was very happy to get up and greet the spring. But did Toad get up? No! Toad was very stubborn and Frog needed some help. Wake up, Toad! It's springtime!
One day, Toad and Frog both checked their mailboxes. Toad told Froggy he never got any letters and that made him really sad. Frog didn't want his best friend to be sad, so he wrote Toad a letter himself. And guess who Frog asked to deliver the letter for him? The No. And the snail promised to deliver it as fast as he could.
came and leaves started falling from the trees from the sun and he wanted to surprise Toad by working with all the leaves in his yard. But what Frog didn't know was that Toad had the exact same idea. So both of them got some of their animal friends to help them and everyone worked hard until there were two neat piles of leaves. Two neat piles till the squirrels came. And did two squirrels help the other animals? No! They messed up both the piles, but in the end, what did Frog and Toad learn? It's the thought that counts! That's right. And meanwhile, Guess was still trying to deliver Frog's letter to Toad. And it became winter, and what do we do in the winter? Drink hot chocolate. <laughs> and put on mittens. <laughs> and play in the snow. <laughs> That's right. One day, Frog asked Toad if he wanted to go sledding. At first, Toad was scared, but Frog told him everything would be okay. Ready, everybody? Ready! Then away we go.
her another big hand because she does so much. Thank you. 